<laughs> Hello everybody, Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcome you back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. Alright, so hopefully this warp room turns out better than the previous one because I really sucked it up in those first two parts, didn't I? Anyway, we're going out of order for this particular warp room because one of the secrets is in this level and I prefer to get it first. Yeah, right here, that will take you to the hidden warp room. With all of its, <clears throat> with its treasure trove of secrets here, yeah. I find it really bizarre that they have level two, like right there, but level seven is the first one. I don't know. I just think it's weird. Anyway, if you'll recall, the red gem from the second level, we weren't able to get that. So, uh, that's what this hidden area takes us to. I'm gonna get those two lives. Ah, oh, no. Oh, come on. There we go. These hidden areas and stuff are really great opportunities to be able to stock up on lives and stuff too, because of all the pump of food. Well darn, my first invincibility mask is going to go to complete waste here. Oh well. Uh, here's another one. That's awesome. It would be really hilarious if I like died by falling into a pit. And there we go. Right gem. Huzzah. Another invincibility mask. This is awesome. Ah. Alright, now we have everything to get in the first warp room. Doesn't this wall look beautiful? Alright, so I like to get that out of the way before I go to do Snow Biz because there is a uh, red gem platform in Snow Biz, which is the only way to get all the boxes. So, 
I don't know what I was doing that day for a second, but I could have almost done it badly. I'm gonna lose this mask before I can do anything with it. Well, anything beneficial right there. Actually, I'm not sure. Sweet. Yeah, there's just an insane amount of bump of fruit. Like, even if you're dying in these areas constantly, you're still, like, making up the difference in lives with how much bump of fruit there constantly is, so that's kind of nice. Ah, let's see. <laughs> I like to live dangerously. Oh, God. That was almost my undoing. Oh, this live counter is out of this yeah, this live counter is out of control. Live life counter. Why did I hit that checkpoint box? That that was stupid. I should have Ah. Uh, I should have waited until after I broke it. Oh, thought that one was gonna get me. Really, you want the fruit? Come on. Oh, oh, that was dodgy. All right, so the majority of what would normally be missing is... <clears throat> oh! I thought I was about to die there, too. I was sick. Ah! There we go. Got some more boxes. Alright. Take that seal. Oh god. Oh, and then I lose it anyway. Sad face. What? That was stupid. Whatever. 43 lives, I'm not going anywhere. The second time that seal is owned me. Ugh. Alright. I was doing pretty well for a minute. And now I'm going back to dying against stupid stuff. 
Is this is that is that seal's tail laced with kryptonite? What's my problem? Yep, here here we go. This is the part where I lose all semblance of any skill. Just take a deep breath. Think about what you're doing. Oh yeah. Make sure not to miss those two boxes. I actually already tried recording this once, but the sound files got... They were off. So... <laughs> so I ended up having to re-record it, which is the one I'm doing right now. Uh, the first time I recorded this level, I missed the gem because I forgot about those two boxes hidden there. So steep. I believe I missed those. I don't understand how that box doesn't get blown up. Because of that first snow level, I always compulsively check behind me. Oh, wow! How did that even happen? Suck it, penguin. First level, I would, besides that weird seal image, I would say that that was marginally successful. Better than most of what happened to me the last time. In the last two episodes. Alright. Anyway. Air crash. I think, I think this is the one with the death root. Yeah, this is the one with the death root, isn't it? Well, that sucks. I know that you can't get all the boxes here, because that's another secret area. Yeah. You come back to this one in the secret warp room too, I think, from Road to Ruin? Or Ruination? I don't know, it's one of those. Weird, I got like stuck on the boards. Yeah. Was like well, that was annoying. Oh no. Ugh. You know, I probably could have made that jump, but I just kind of bailed out of it because I don't know. Bonus round anyway. I wonder if the bonuses count towards you when it comes to trying to get the death root. Because, like, they don't count against you with actual lives and such. So... I don't know, I'm not gonna experiment with it because, well, I don't wanna have to redo the level. What the da? Ugh. That was silly.
Whatever, I'll grab the crystal. That would have sucked. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shut up. Alright, well, I'm going to cut to when we were. I'm gonna cut back to where that death route was and go from there. So, see you momentarily. Alright, anyway, here we are. I managed to not die on the way to this platform. Good for me. The nice thing about these is they're not just a one-time deal, like if you die in the death route, it will s the platform will stay, which is nice. Ah. Dude, I think... Those water mines make me almost as nervous as my turbates do. I thought I clicked key to join and didn't pick it up for a second. Alright, anyway, now that we have that out of the way.